In line with the theme of our house, which is white, wood and affordable, we turned to Taobao to source for our household items that could fit into both our aesthetic and budget at the same time. However, Taobao shopping outside China meant that we can't return or refund shitty items and it was stressful for us to spend so much time and money on things that might not turn out that well. I summarized my learnings in this video and I'll be going through our own shopping experience in these categories. Item selection, coupons and discounts, checking out from Taobao, monitor parcel shipping, and checking out from the warehouse. Let's start with item selection. First, we research on what's available. After searching for an item, keep scrolling down at the results page and the algorithm will push out related items into your feed. I discovered many products that I didn't know existed. For example, I knew that there was a garlic press but not a mini garlic chopper. Knowing what the sellers were offering gave us a better idea on what we could get for our home. If you can't express what you want in written Chinese, you can refer to the suggestions in the drop-down list or copy keywords from other listings to find the item you're looking for. Pinterest and Instagram are also very helpful in understanding the kind of aesthetic you want to achieve in your home. Use image search if there is a particular item you have in mind. Take a screenshot of the item you like. Click the camera icon at the search bar to do an image search. At the bottom left-hand corner, select your screenshot and the system will show you listings that look similar to your selected items. Or you can also let whatever's available influence the look and feel of your home. Everything is good to have and can make your life easier at some point in time, but the key consideration is whether the intended usage of that item is frequent enough to justify for the clutter that comes along with it. Start the items to add the listings to your favourites. Viewing the listings in a grid view gives you an overview of what you saved and makes it easier for you to compare your shortlisted items at a glance. You can also use the Find Similar function to explore other alternatives. One thing I like to do is to add all my selected items to cart instead of checking them out individually. This helps me to visualize and ensure that everything will look good together. You can add up to 99 items in your cart before checking all of them out at once. However, this step might be unnecessary if you or your ID can do a rendering or plan to show how your eventual house will look like. The end goal is the same, which is to achieve a coordinated look across the house even though you're purchasing items from different shops. If you have a partner you're making decisions with and you foresee difficulty in reaching a consensus, you can manipulate information and control what your partner gets to choose from in the first place. Nowadays, the date itself is sufficient reason to have sales events, so always be patient and camp for discounts. There are different types of Taobao discounts and coupons. At the shop level, we have shop coupons that you can claim on the item page. The same shop coupons can usually be found on the shop's main page as well. Share item with your friend coupon, which is claimable after sharing the link to a specified number of friends. These shop coupons tend to be mutually exclusive. At the platform level, Taobao's own sales events provide discounts that are automatically deducted from your card before checkout. These discounts are usually stackable with shop coupons. There are definitely more coupon types available, but these are the ones that I know of and actively use. Always use Shopback. 
The cashback is usually a few cents per item, but it's better than nothing. If you don't have an account yet, you can ask your family and friends who have one and sign up via their referral link so both of you can earn $5 each. But if you don't have friends, don't worry. I can be your online friend and my referral link is in the description box below. Install the shop bag extension. Log in to Taobao and open up all the items in your cart across different tabs. Activate the cashback of each individual item. When you're done, double check that the cashback is activated before checking out. There will also be some items that are not eligible for cashback. Checking out from Taobao. We used a third party parcel forwarder as we were buying bulky and heavy items. These parcel forwarding companies have a warehouse in China that you can send all your shopping to. They will then consolidate all your individual parcels into a bulk shipment and deliver your items from their Chinese warehouse to your local address. Log in to their website and find the shipping address allocated to your account. Register this address into the address book in Taobao. And remember to select it when checking out. Monitor your parcel shipping to ensure that all of them reach the warehouse safely. For oops.sg, you have to register your package on their website before it arrives. Log in. Click DIY Reship. Scroll to the bottom of the page and click Register Package. The tracking number and other parcel details are required, so you can only do so once the seller has shipped out your item. Within Taobao, the item details can be found under What the Taobao? My Tao de Bao Bei. Click on Tai Shou Huo to check on the items to be received. Mouse over or click into Cha Kan U Liu to see your parcel's courier company and tracking number. Use the mastery of your primary school Chinese to choose the correct courier company. Enter the tracking number of the parcel and declare both the item type and price. Do this for every single item you order. When you're done, you can use this as a checklist to see whether all your items have arrived at the warehouse. If your package wasn't registered before it arrived at the warehouse, you will result in an entry like this. You can declare it after arrival, but the website also states that it does not take any responsibility for lost parcels that are not registered. Declaring items after they have arrived in a warehouse is much faster than registering them one by one. However, this also makes it more difficult to identify missing parcels as the warehouse will not be expecting them. If an item is too large or bulky, it might be delivered in more than one package. This also means that this item will have more than one tracking number. You can also use the Thai Nail feature in Taobao for a shipping status summary of all the items you have purchased. Having this overview is much easier if you are buying in bulk as you no longer have to click into your orders one by one to check on their delivery status. Lastly, checking out from the warehouse. Once everything has arrived in the warehouse, you are now ready to prepare for your shipment to be sent to your local address. Select all, scroll to the bottom of the page, and click start shipping. Select create a new shipment and click prepare shipment. Select your country and preferred shipping method. We went for CLCL shipping as we were buying bulky and heavy items. Enter your local shipping address in this section. There's no need to select anything under shipping options if you're not purchasing any commercial or controlled goods. Once you're ready, click the prepare shipment button on the right. After this, 
you will be redirected back to the main page. There will only be a cancel shipment button and this means that they are now calculating your shipping fee. When it's done, an email will be sent to notify you that your shipment is now ready to be shipped out. Log into your account, find your outgoing shipment and click make payment. Select the currency you'd like to pay in and the payment method as well. I personally found it quite convenient as you accepted PayNow. Remember to key in the reference number when you're doing the payment transaction. Click Done and the Verifying Payment button will be greet out. Once your payment has been received and verified, the warehouse will automatically kickstart the shipping process. From our own experiences, the shipment usually arrives between 1.5 to 2 weeks. You can also track your shipment updates from the search bar at the bottom of the page. Once your shipment arrives in Singapore, they will give you a phone call to arrange for a date and time for doorstep delivery. On the day of delivery, you will also receive an SMS with a tracking link. Thanks for staying till the end of our very extra Taobao shopping video. Everyone has a different comfort level in doing online or Taobao shopping, and I hope that this video was helpful for you in some way. The entire procurement process was quite tiring but rewarding for my husband and I. We chose to spend more time to decide what we wanted to purchase rather than to spend more money on things that we might not need. However, do also remember to enjoy the process of setting up your home instead of letting it stress you out too much. If you found this video helpful, please take notes and remember to actively keep them in your thoughts while doing your own Taobao shopping. All the best and bye!